Welcome back to MMA Al Dente. Austin Lingo versus Ricardo Hamos. Austin Lingo, he's 9-1 and one overall. He's got three TKO victories, two submissions, four decisions, and his one loss is by decision. It was to Yusuf Zalal. I think he took it on short notice. But either way, it's his UFC debut, and he didn't have much for Zalal. Which is how Jacob Kilburn must have fought, uh, felt when he fought Austin Lingo in Austin's next fight. Because he didn't have much for Austin at all. But Austin in his next fight, his last one against Luis Saldana, that was a competitive fight. And a fight in which he outlasted Luis Saldana and really crowded him very well after being hurt, you know, to the body. And I do think uh, it was his most impressive performance uh, in his whole career so far. He does only have 10 fights, despite being a year older than Ricardo Hamos, who has 20 fights. Hamos is awesome. He's a really good fighter. He's... Uh, been defeated four times, obviously, but, you know, a couple of times in the UFC, uh, Zubera T- uh, Tukagov, R- Lerone Murphy, Saeed Nurmagomedov, those are the guys that took him out by TKO. He's a very tough fighter, though. I do think uh, it takes a special class to get him out of there via strikes. I don't think he's too, uh, you know, susceptible. I don't think he's vulnerable in that regard. I think he's just fought some really good fighters, but... He's better than Austin Lingo everywhere, I think. I think he's better on the ground. I think he's better on the feet. I do think Austin Lingo, if he slows or speeds the fight up, I guess, and makes it a brawl, you know, I do think he could win, getting on the inside and throwing throwing down. But Ricardo Hamos is very slick, and I just think he's going to have too much skill in every area of this fight. So I'm picking him to win. I'm trusting him to uh, uh, duplicate pretty much the Zalal fight. Although, you know, I guess I'd imagine this fight, I guess, to be uh, contested a little more on the feet. But uh, either way, it uh, could go on the ground as well. And I'm picking Hamush to win. I do think he's more likely to win a decision, to be honest, having not seen Austin Lingo get uh, finished. And also being well aware that he's probably well aware of the spinning elbow attack, which is responsible for two out of Hamosh's four TKO victories. But uh, Hamos still, he's got the subs and everything else. He's an overall very good package, and I can't bet on a decision here. So I'm just staying away from this one, which you know what that means. I'll get drunk and bet on Austin Lingo. Like, share, subscribe, all that horse shit. Check out my other videos.